All right, here's going to be a little uh, recording um, of uh, an app that I really like. It's, uh, again, a root app. You don't have to have root to use this app, but uh, you have to have root to access the uh, root file system uh, and, and create it to be read-write. It's called uh, Easy File Explorer. Here, right here, you can see there's an icon on the bottom. So, basically... Um, this app just lets you it's just a file explorer lets you get into all your uh, all your files on your SD card, but it also lets you access um, the files on the phone and on the internal SD card. So basically, the things you're going to want to do once you open this up is you're going to want to hit your menu button, and then you want to hit settings, and then we want to do a couple things. First thing you want to do is you want to um, hit this little checkbox right here, so that we're um, up to root enabled up to root directory so you want to check that box and then you want to come down here where it says uh, root explorer and you want to hit that one and it says only for rooted devices which I have it checked and then you want to hit uh, mount file system um, which allows you to mount the system as read write so that you can now edit things that are in the, the root directory so we got all those features in here and then uh, we're going to go back here. So as you can see at the top, we are in the root directory. Um, and you can actually do anything to these files at this point, which you've got to be really careful because you can mess your phone up if you mess up the wrong file. But we're in here, so we're going to look through it a little bit. Um, so you can see here's your system files. you got those, media. You, know, you can see your boot animations if you want there. Um, your audio files for your ringtones and that kind of stuff. So that's those in there. I'm going to go back out. Here's your uh, SD extension. So this would be your, uh, your, your micro USB card here. Um, you can see what is on that card. Some files here. Um, and then you have your internal SD, which is on here. You can see a bunch of files in here. You can go through anything, move them, copy them, paste them. Um, you know, you could say, let's say we want to take a file here and download. Let's just, just say, like this Bionic here, right here. This is a Bionic sound. So you can hold down on it. And then, uh, you know, you can see properties on it. You can share it. Um, you know, copy, cut, paste, whatever. And then you can bring it to some other file and put it in there. So really nice um, little system here. Uh, so this is basically what you got, but you have root access, so you can get into anything on this at, at this point. You know, you can look at your cache, your bins, I mean, it's, it's, it's pretty nice. You can look at your mounts here, which is another way of getting to your SD and SD extension. Um, so, this is your file system. I use this thing a ton, because I like to get into this stuff. So, some of the other things that it has um, up here is App Manager. Actually, before I show you that, let's look at this. If we slide the sideways, here we can um, add server from here. So you can add in like your home server and uh, go ahead and put that in there. And then you can access those right here directly on here, which is really nice. Um, you can have an, an FTP server. Again, you can add that in here by hitting new. Um, and then let's see what else we got. We got just net, net server. You can add that in. And then we're back to your, your, your phone. So you can have your different servers and even access stuff off your computer or off your network at your house through this thing, which is just really nice, makes it really convenient. So the other thing this thing does is up here it says App Manager. We can hit that, um, and we can see uh, all the apps that we have on this device. And we can back them up here, um, and you could restore them from here. So you have all those kind of options in here too which is pretty sweet um, if we hit if we hit settings or I should say menu down here we can also see yeah here's manager right here so we have a task manager an app manager a security manager bookmark manager SD card analyzer so there's a bunch of utilities in this one app um, so we'll go ahead and look at the uh, task manager on here um, so it asks you if you want to install it. I don't want to install it, but you can if you want. We'll see if we got some of these other ones. I think some of these other ones will let me get into them. 
let's see, app manager, we have, we've used that already. So we'll go back, we'll go to um, security manager. Again, something you can install would be an add-on um, if you want to do that. Let's see what else we got. Um, bookmarks. So here, here you go. You can do this. This, this, what this will do is this will you'll pick what you want in your favorites. A little over here, this little icon on top, top left here. So you can have like little shortcuts to get to things that you use files you get to use a lot. So. Um, that's pretty much, you know, SD analyzer, let's see if that one's on here or not. Looks like it is. So, little thing to tell you what you're using, what's going on. You can see, you know, your total, um, gigabytes down there, used and free. Just kind of a nice little, uh, tweak there, so. Um, yeah, that's pretty much, uh, easy file explorer. Very lot of nice options in here, nice fully featured app. Again, this one is really well supported. Um, these guys work really hard on this stuff, and they do update it quite often. Um, you can do things in here like uh, maybe you want to put a different theme on it or layout up here on the top or for even file settings, thumbnails, and that kind of thing. You can do some uh, adjustment here. Here's a theme just so you can see. Um, theme style. Here we'll do water drops, just so you guys can see what this looks like. There you go, water drops in the background. Makes it a little bit more uh, nicer to look at. So, yep, that's pretty much it. Um, thanks for watching this, and uh, we'll catch you guys another time.